Mowbray. Back to goal. Feeds it to side bottom. Side bottom a snap. What a beauty. What a beauty by Steele side bottom. Against the flow. What a quality young player he is. Welcome back to the club. Still side bottom is still with us here in the studio. Mate, you don't mind a goal. You famously kicked 10 in the TAC Cup Grand Final. You love getting up for the big games, don't you? Uh, I think everyone does, but uh, you know, I might have been a bit lucky to you know, get a few of the goals I've had, but um, I'm not complaining. I'll take them for sure. Uh, we've had some great feedback on Twitter so far um, through the break with people sending in uh, congratulations that you've, uh, you've come back on for two years. So that's really positive news. Um, and Blairy and, uh, and Borley. Now, you're the youngest of five. How much of your success do you attribute to being the youngest of five boys? How much did that help you? <laughs> How much do I take or do I take? <laughs> you know, I think they take a lot of it, but um, I'm not sure. I think, you know, being the youngest, I might have got roughed up a little bit that maybe could have made me a little bit tougher, but um, I don't know. I think they'd take a lot of credit for where I am now, I'm sure. We've got a photo here of uh, your brothers. You're a pretty close-knit bunch, aren't you? Just, just run us through uh, who, the, who they are from left to right. Um, on the left is, uh, is Josh, known as Twiggy, as you can see, he's quite skinny. Um, then to him's uh, Ryan, who they call Golly. He used to call his dummy Golly when he was little, so that's how he got him. And then, yeah, to the left of me is Trent, who they call Boof. Um, he's got a bit of a Boof head. And then Tice on the, on the end, they call Fleabag, which I'm not 100% sure why they do, but uh, yeah, that's what they run with. Must have been great for you spending time with your brothers growing up. Must be very similar to the atmosphere at a football club. Yeah, it is, and I think you know the longer you're there, that you know the more close that you do get with with them people, and um, it's sort of like you know there's about 40 players on their list, and it's you know it's like having 40 brothers, I suppose. Did you ever get to play in a team together, all of you as brothers? No, not at all. I've played with um, Ryan uh, for a few years, but uh, Trent, Tyson, Josh all played in the grand final in. 05 for um, Tally Grootner, so um, I suppose, yeah, that's something that they'll never forget. Any chance you can get them down to Collingwood? Are they good enough? Um, I think, yeah, probably not. not now. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's no, a I'm chance. Sure, no, they all are, sorry. <laughs> there's a chance this weekend that Nathan Brown will line up on his brother Mitch. Who are you going to have your money on? Um, I'll be mad not to have on Brownie, I think. Well, he can't really lose, can he? Well, every week's a blockbuster, and if you haven't already signed up for the Collingwood Football Club, you can buy a three-game membership for $99, and that gives you any three home games at the G. Also, if you've dreamed of playing at the MCG, you can play in the Live Your Dream at the MCG before the Frio game, and that game is coached by Tarkin Lockyer and Rocket Ede. So uh, it's for a good cause, and you can uh, get down there and play on the G. Now, Steelo, next week... The club is moving to 9.30 on Tuesday night, so will you be watching? I'll definitely be watching, mate, for sure. <laughs> well, Steele, thanks for joining us in the studio. You've been going great this year. It's really great to see the improvement from you, and uh, enjoy the rest of the year. Good luck. No worries. Thanks for having me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Look forward to seeing you next week at 9.30 on Tuesday on The Club.